It was a mixed bag for RSL. The good news is they got the full three points. They got an early lead. They were attacking. Their young outside backs were going forward. There was a lot to like, except for the final product. Well, the final product, they, they, they like the three points, they right? Like that. Um, as the, my ear falls out. Uh, they like the three points, but they probably feel that they've left a little on the table mm -hmm. in, in terms of finding that second, that third, maybe that fourth goal, because there were chances. And I think the good news is that Real Salt Lake is generating opportunities with the way that this front four is playing, and they're introducing both outside backs. And there's a style and identity that is um, starting to creep in and set itself in stone as opposed to last season, where it was kind of a work in progress for the first five, six, seven games of the season. Um, so in terms of the result, you take the full three points at home. Plenty to build on. Uh, but now the fact that you're one win, zero losses, and a draw in your first two matches, and you head out to the nation's capital face DC United, plenty to work on. By no means the final product, but impressive start nonetheless. Four points in the first two matches, and really critical here, with four of the first six on the road, six yep. of the first nine, we saw with D.C. United a year ago. Now, they added Wayne Rooney in the middle of the year. But they had a lot of road games early because their stadium was opening mid-year, and if you can just stay afloat and get some points, you give yourself a chance when the home games come. And for RSL, we'll see how they handle this, but four points through two matches is a good start given the schedule they're up against. I, I would much rather see them follow maybe a blueprint of what Portland Timbers did last year mm -hmm. yeah. as opposed you to leaving it you late. You don't want to do the so Sounder DC United, uh, DC United deal? Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I would rather I'd rather avoid that as much as humanly possible, especially for our post-game shows. <laughs> um, yeah, listen, I, I think there is a way to play in this league, and the identity doesn't always have to be free-flowing. It doesn't always have to be attack-minded, although you obviously want to show elements of that throughout the course of 90 minutes. But you have to be very aware on both sides of the ball. And I think, for the most part, Real Salt Lake was very aware on the road in Houston. Now, listen, DJ, we're, we're, we're talking about the concerns coming out of preseason, mm -hmm. which were loose goals conceded by RSL. And now maybe when we look back, it was just fitness, or maybe it was sharpness, or maybe a mixture of players mm -hmm. coming in and out. Um, but we haven't seen those issues so far in these first two games. So hopefully they continue to build on the momentum. It's going to be tough going. It's a competitive roster, tough fight for spots, um, but really, really impressed to see how this team's building itself so early. All right, D.C. United next week.